Hey Aries, I'm gonna do a reading for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be your bonus reading, okay, for December. Um, already did your reading here earlier. Um, if you haven't seen that, be, be sure to check that out. And uh, let's see what energies are coming, or what's going on with you. Let's see what's going on for Aries, December. And keep in mind, these are general reads. They're not, uh, you know, may not resonate with everyone. So if you are interested in a personal reading, um, all that information is in the description box there below. Okay, so let's see what we got going on for you guys. First card that we got coming out. We have the moon card that comes out. All right, so Gemini, we do have a full moon in Gemini. So that is definitely, I think, on the 19th, I believe. We have the star. All right, Aquarius energy. A couple of good cards here. So maybe some wish wishes coming true for you. Ace of Cups. Very good cards. Six of coins. Gifts coming your way, Aries. Um, let's see. Or it could be giving gifts as well. King of Swords. Definitely in an energy of um, being focused, being, um, you know, definitely just moving forward here. Um, it's not a negative energy or cutting people off type of energy. I feel like it's just you being focused and moving forward, okay? definitely determined on uh succeeding or you know determined on getting things done you know and but the ace of cups though there's there's something really good coming in here we're gonna have to see what that's all about uh you're gonna have some options seven of cups here so maybe areas that i'm connecting with here you might have a lot of options going on it could be just you have a lot of stuff going on as well okay um you know with the six of coins it tells me that you're you know you're in that mood of giving as well so maybe you know obviously it's the holidays coming up here but, you know, the, there's some areas here that maybe, um, you know, you want to go out and help people. So maybe there's like some um, life coaches um, or something like that, or just in general, just wanting to um, um, go out and, um, and do some good. Uh, with the star energy, though, it's, it's telling me, too, that, you know, things that you have been wanting, um, you know, wishing for or thinking about, you know, just waiting for your stuff to come in here or your your ships to come in um i feel like that is starting to happen you're going to start seeing gifts come your way okay um so whatever the case is and especially you know for for aries that are also single and looking for somebody a lot of con uh, communication during the upcoming full moon here is it's a full moon in gemini so it's a lot of communication you could be going out to parties meeting new people uh not necessarily to having to be romantic um, maybe it's networking to, you know, in a business sense to where you get offered a new position or a new job or a potential uh, to make more money as well. OK, um, so for some areas that that is also happening for you, um, we have strength, Leo energy. So you're definitely confident. So the Leos that I'm speaking to here are not only focused, determined to succeed and just getting their, you know, you're getting your stuff done and. And, um, you know, again, it's like energy and a lot of Zodiacs are having this energy of getting things done before the end of the year, too. So it's like if it's work, it's like I want to get everything done. So I can kind of relax. You know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of that energy of of that as well. But very confident, Aries. You're very confident. Um, let's see. Yeah, see. So six of wands. Leo energy again. You could be dealing with the Leo, too. You could have a Leo coming in trying to offer you something as well. So it could be another fire sign. Could you have air? You could have, um, we have Pisces. We have, uh, we have everything here, okay? Yeah, we have water, Scorpio. Um, yep, we have everything on the board. And then we have the hanging man, Pisces energy, okay? So, um, interesting, interesting. Bomb the deck, we do have the hermit card. So whatever's going on, Aries, I think, um, number one, for some Aries, I feel like you're really busy, okay? I feel that um, you're juggling multiple projects. You're, you're, you're trying to accommodate a lot of people. And meaning that, you know, maybe you have friend groups or family situations where you have to attend to, dinners, lunches, whatever the case is, and you're trying to juggle everything so you can make everyone happy, all right? Uh, and maybe you're you're setting up parties and everything as well. So it's kind of like just trying to make things happen. But at the same time with the hermit energy, it's like you're also having that feeling that you want to be alone or have some time to yourself or at least take a break. 
Um, so maybe you're looking into traveling. Maybe you're looking into, um, you know, again, just where, I don't know where you're at in the world, but maybe just renting a place for the weekend and just getting away. You know, maybe you just with your, um, with your other or maybe with your kids, what, you know, the whole family, whatever the case is, kind of getting away from things to, 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 you know, if you're in the city, you just want to kind of go to the country. You know what I mean? So just getting away. Okay. For other areas though, <clears throat> We do have someone coming in here with some sort of offer. So there is a new connection. So for single Aries that are looking for somebody, I feel like the full moon that weekend there is going to be very big uh, to meet, meeting new people. And I feel like that new person is going to be someone that you meet. It could be a long-term relationship. Um, so that Ace of Cups there is like a... Um, it's a gift. Definitely a gift from the universe here. Okay? So it's like... The universe is gifting you something, you know, with, with all the hard work, maybe all the good stuff you put out there. And I said, you know, maybe some of you guys are life coaches or helping others and, and things like that. And kind of, you know, Leo had a similar reading where, you know, you know, it's, it's a season to obviously give, but also to get out and help people. All right. So if you're able to volunteer, able to go to homeless shelters, if you have the ability to, you know, um, to help people in general, I feel like that, you know, we have, I feel the energy of people doing that as well. Okay. Which is really nice. Um, but at any rate, I do feel like you're getting some sort of, um, you know, Ace of Cups energy here is like a new beginning into something. Okay. Um, for some Aries, it, I feel like it's another fire sign that's coming towards you. It could be a Leo and possibly another water sign and we do have aquarius here too so it, again it could be any anyone i wouldn't get caught up on the signs but um i feel like there is a gift coming towards you uh, from the universe that you know with all the hard work that you did um i feel like you're finally kind of seeing your your ships come in okay so i do see that but a definitely strong sense your first card is, is the moon card so there's a strong sense during that weekend when we have that full moon um, something definitely around that time frame. Strong energy there, okay? Um, and it's, it's something you've been wishing for. Just keep that in mind. So um, something that you've been wanting for a very long time is coming in. Um, do I even need to clarify, to be honest with you? I mean, the only thing I can see here is you're getting your gifts. You're, you're making things happen. You're, you're focused. You're feeling good. Um, you're feeling victorious. You're feeling very confident, um, you know, you do have another connection coming in. You have just other gifts coming in too. It doesn't have to necessarily mean a romantic connection, but I feel like that you're starting to see little things come towards your way. Maybe just a couple of things here, a couple of things there. Um, you know, just things working out in your favor, you know, just getting into that, um, that energy of like, well, wow. you know, and maybe even seeing the brighter side of things too. So maybe you're just kind of not focusing on things that you don't have and you're focusing things that you do have. You know, you're, you're appreciating that you're around, you know, you have the ability to be around people. You have ability, you're appreciating the friendships that you have. You're just appreciating things, you know? So um, I, fi I figured some are, are, are feeling some are kind of going through that, but definitely a sense of helping others, okay? So I do see that here, um, helping other people, um, but you're also juggling too. So try, you know, if anything, this is why the hermit's still kind of on the bottom there, because you have a lot to attend to. I feel like this is the month where you're trying to accomplish a lot of things. So you kind of really could relax towards the end of the year. But, um, you know, you're wanting to help people and you're also trying to make everyone happy by, you know, getting to the dinner times, you know, doing this, doing that, uh, making sure all your work is taken care of. Uh, for some areas, you're just going to have a lot of, if you are looking for somebody, there is going to be a lot of potential coming towards you, okay? And I feel like these options... Um, you know, there, there's just a lot of opportunity for you to, to kind of, maybe there's some people that you can network with. Maybe there is some romantic uh, connections, you know, just you have a lot of options, okay? Um, but if anything, and again, keep in mind, you're being gifted here, okay? So whatever the case is, you're just being gifted. I'll, I'll throw a card here just to see a little bit more what's going on there. But you, my advice here is just make sure to take a little bit of time to, you know, if you are looking at vacations or a few days away and stuff like that, definitely do that. Or maybe just take a breather um, so you don't get burnt out. Let me clarify Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Let's see, what is this Ace of Cups about? 
We have the Knight of Swords, so it could be an air sign too that's coming with this offer. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So, um, you know, there could be an air sign coming towards you, okay? Ace of Swords kind of confirms it as well. Again, air sign could be their moon, their rising as well, but definitely someone's coming towards you here, offering you, it's a new energy, but it's like a gift. When I say gift, meaning that it's not like they're coming in and saying like, I'm in love with you or anything like that, okay? So keep that in mind. It's like literally they're coming in, you meet this person, could be at a party. I mean, it could be, you know, when you're walking around looking at Christmas lights, whatever the case is, um, you know, you just kind of meet, you bump into this person and they kind of move, they want to move forward with you. And with the Ace of Cup energy, it's like, it, it's something long-term. It's something that you can kind of trust and put your, you know, put a lot of effort in. Okay. So um, I don't necessarily feel like this is someone from the past. Uh, but for some, it might be an energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you've known that's coming back here and offering you something here, a new beginning into something. But if it is someone from the past, it's someone that you haven't spoke to in a while, okay? So, but overall, your reading looks really good for, for, uh, for December here. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me give you an oracle. And uh, we should be good. So looking good, Aries. Um, but yeah, for those of you, you know, getting out there and helping people and volunteering, that's good shit. I mean, I love that. Um, get out and help people. And um, especially during these times, it should be all the time, right? But, um, you, know, I have, you know, lately I've been kind of feeling that energy where, um, you know, a lot of people are not um, having a great, you know, month all the time for, especially during the holidays. Everyone's struggling. I know I have. Um I had to go through things where, you know, I didn't really spend holidays with anyone at one point. So I kind of get it. Um, so if you're out there helping people, it's a really nice situation. All right. So uh, let's see what we got for your Oracle. We have priorities number 30. We'll see what that's all about. If you can see it there. So we have priorities. <clears throat> I was mentioning... Um, all these stuff you're juggling here. So maybe, maybe it's going to tie in. This is a long... Well, no, it's not that bad. Um, bear with me. I didn't wear my glasses, so... And the light's on here, so I don't know. Let's see if I'm stumbling on my words here. All right. So we have number 30. We have priorities. Make the most of your time. Every day is a gift. You have the option to make the most of what life is offering. Uh, sorry, let me just do this again. You have the you have the option to make the most of what life is offering you. If you long to uh, create organization in your life, you will benefit from prioritizing. Your ideals determine what you will seek in life. Your priorities are most visible in how you use your time. Ganesha is holding the water lily and emphasizing the importance of your values. <clears throat> He encourages you to know that he encourages you to know what you truly want. What makes you the happiest? There are always blessings that may not apparent may not be apparent in the midst of disappointment. Time is not something that can be saved for later. When it comes to the time allotted to you each day, you have you only have a limited opportunity. Make your choice about how you spend your time in accordance with your highest values. If you languish or pr procrastinate, the moment will be gone. Reevaluate how you want, how you have been spending your days, and how you can strive to be more satisfied. In terms of priorities, for each major decision, such as education, occupation, place of residence, marriage, or parenting, you will ask yourself, what will be the impact of my decision? In all choices, make sure that you, you are certain of what your priorities are. Relate your goals to ways to bring love and blessings to yourself and the people who you share life with. Okay, so that is your card. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Really appreciate the support. And um, until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one.